Okay, welcome to pharmacology. Oh, I want to go to Rome one day. Looks pretty there. Hello, so today we'll talk about ion channels in general. So just a little bit of uh, fact, uh, revision in a way. So we've talked about uh, GPCRs in the class. So another name for GPCRs is called metabotropic receptors because originally this group of receptors are found to be involved in the metabolism of the cells. So today we'll look at ligand-gated ion channels. Uh, there's also called ionotropic receptors because iono again is from the word ions. Right? So tropic is mainly referring to the ligand gated part of the channels. Right? So again, these receptors or channels, uh, it only takes milliseconds to respond because it just needs to be activated and ding, you got your ions to flow through to cause an effect in the cells. So again, this is the I part of the rise. Okay? So we've got voltage gated ion channels and ligand gated. So ligand gated basically refers to the presence of and the requirement of a ligand, meaning a compound or a chemical leash, to bind to the specific uh, active site of the receptor or ion channel so that it can cause the opening of the ion channel. Then the ions can either flow in or out uh, according to the concentration gradient. So the second part here is the voltage gated ion channels. Basically, it can be activated through um, the difference or the changes in the membrane potential across the cell membrane. So once the ions they, that has the, the electrical part of it, the membrane potential, once it hits a certain level, it causes cause uh, the ion channels to be opened and again the ions can flow through. So don't forget, uh, this is the importance of the voltage gated ion channel it mainly is in the neuronal part of the body, right? So uh, mainly it causes and allows the transmission of the impulse across the nerve cells, right? And don't forget all the basics like myelin shield and things like that, which allows the transmission to be faster. So I expect you all to be able to go through whatever that you have learned in the pre-U, right? Uh, as a background revision of this particular topic as well. <clears throat> so basically it's about passing the parcel. In this case, the parcel is the signal which is the positive part. Okay. So there are a few examples of ion channels being used as a drug target. So the first one here is called voltage-gated potassium channels. It's mainly again the neuronals. It's mainly act uh, by the local anesthetics. In this case, examples called lidocaine. So there's another one here called voltage-gated L-type calcium channels. It's mainly present in the cardiac myocytes. So again, this is mainly acted on by the CCDs, which is the calcium channel blockers. So the last one here, uh, I'll give example on this particular slide, is about ATP-sensitive potassium channels. It's mainly a target for diabetic drugs, called a group of diabetic drugs called sulfonyl ureas. Okay, so there are some other examples for ligand-gated ion channels. In this case, there are nicotinic receptors, GABA-A, ionotropic glutamate receptors, and also 5-HD3 receptors. Again, all these play an important role, especially at the central nervous system. Yeah, like basically what the, are the signals which are going on in the brain. Okay, so again, requires the binding of ion channels. For example, nicotinic receptors, it requires the ligand, which is ACH, again, which is called acetylcholine binding. Okay, so nicotinic receptors, as mentioned here, so the ACH will bind at the different subtypes over here. So you can see, in, ge in general, the ion channels, it is, consists of different subtypes. It's like a few, uh, few sticks being tied together to form a bundle, but in the middle of the bundle, there's a, this hole in this channel to allow the flow and the movement of the ions in and out of the cells, right? So you can see in this hologram, it's like a mini holo uh, way for the ions to flow through. Okay, so you can see this is quite different from the structure of GPCRs, whereby GPCRs is only one long protein polypeptide chain. Okay, so again, we are not very um, creative in a way, so there's N type receptors, which is a nicotinic receptors, the N. There are two main types called M and N. So M and N, remember the sweets? 
meaning sh should be chocolates actually. So M refers to the muscle, N refers to the neurons, right? So that's all for this particular class. Ta!